coast and country. This week, we're getting creative. I'm in Tenby with the artist who makes these stunning patterns in the sand. What is it that drives you to keep doing this? It's just the joy, really. It's just the joy and beauty just for the sake of it. I'm in Tregaron getting some green-fingered creative tips from our resident gardening expert, Hugh Richards. You can plant in colour coordination, you can plant indoors and outdoors. There's such a great abundance of things that you can do. Hannah's meeting the farmer who paints her cows. And Rob's spinning a yarn in the coastal village taken over by knitting. Probably a bad idea on a bridge. It is, but, especially you know. when it's one way, it can cause a bit of a queue. <laughs> There's something pretty magical about being on the beach. The fresh air, okay, the Welsh rain, the sand castles. But you know, when it comes to creativity and art, there is one man who is taking things to a whole new level. Mark Trainer loves drawing a line in the sand. Several lines, in fact. He sketches giant artwork on the beach and the golden grains of West Wales make the perfect canvas. I've come to meet him in Tenby, where he's already working on today's creation. Well, Mark, I'm being very careful and trying not to get in your way or tread on anything here, but this looks like a picture now, doesn't it? What exactly are you going for here? It's, um, it's, it's going to be a sort of mandala, which is a, okay. basically a giant pattern made up of okay. circles and shapes within the circles. Yeah. And uh, it's beginning to take form, but it still looks a bit messy. Where does the idea come from? Because, you know... Well, I draw it out. I mean, your, I have got a plan. I have got a, I have got a map, as it were. So, okay. I mean, I've got this drawing. I'm not going to show you the finished piece yet, but this is okay. what I'm working from. Right. So, it's like a map. Yeah. So, I'm sort of, I've drawn it out so I know it can be done. Yeah. And every time I, I sort of look at it and think, OK, that circle is that circle. That centimetre there has got to be a metre there. Yeah. And it's just really just translating it across onto a big scale. So, in effect, you, you sort of pencil draw it in the sand yes. first, and yes. then you're, you're filling it in with... The red. Right, just a... Which is basically, yeah, right. if you can imagine doodling with a pencil yeah. and then filling in with a felt pen. Okay. The stick is the pencil and the yeah. rake is the felt pen. Well, don't let me stop you doodling. Beautiful, but brief. This is art in its most temporary form. It lasts only until the next wave comes and washes it away. So, as the tide looms in the distance, Mark ploughs on. Tide is getting closer, um, but you are remarkably chilled. How's it going? Like a swan. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath, it's all chaos. No, uh, so, genuinely, do, do you okay. get concerned? Yeah, a little. But I mean, you know, yeah. we do what we can do. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the outside uh, pattern in. Okay. And then there's a few details I'd like to do if we got time yeah. inside, yeah. but it doesn't matter too much. But it'd be quite nice to get this finished border. It's starting to take shape now, though, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I can so, see yeah. a pattern here. Yeah. Even at a lower level, it's, yes. it's obviously a pattern. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a mixture it's... between a pattern and a ploughed field, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Keep on ploughing then, in okay. that case. <laughs> yep. Keep going. These epic designs take several hours to make. And as the intricate pattern develops, people on the beach stop to take it all in. As we near the four hour mark, the last line is drawn and Mark's creation is complete. Bah. What 
is it that drives you to keep doing this? It's just the joy, really. It's just the joy and beauty just for the mm. sake of it. I mean, just I haven't because. seen it. I haven't been up the top yet to see it. That's, gonna, that's the sort of payoff. That's when I can look and think, yes. Wow. Or, no, oh, I wish I'd done that differently. <laughs> <laughs> and then bearing in mind, I mean, this, this is a movable feast. This will be gone in a couple of hours. Yeah. Um, does that ever bother you? Or I guess is that part of, of the adventure? I think it is. It's become part of it. It's that impermanence, that reflective musing that actually something beautiful is going to disappear within an hour or two. I think more and more people are clearly getting what you do. There's, there, there seems to be more of this sand art. We see more of it. In fact, it's, mm. it's being used in different ways. You've, you've helped out with a proposal quite recently. Yes. What, what was that all about? Well, it was very sweet. It was a guy who, uh, who had uh, contacted me and asked if I could do a design based on his beloved's favourite image, which was Batman. <laughs> And uh, I did that uh, a couple of weeks ago, and um, she came along, and there was tears, and yes, and she yeah, did say yes. She did. <laughs> it was really lovely. Who knows what you can do tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's just, uh, it's just the beauty, really. I think, and the joy. Well, you must clearly love what you do, then. I do. From one artist now to another. Let's catch up.